polycystic ovarian syndrome is a heterogeneous disorder affecting all age groups of women and involving many systems of the body mainly gynecology in simpler words i can explain it in this way that the patient has got delayed and irregular menstrual cycles she has got acne acne means pimples and she has got excessive hair growth at inappropriate places on her body which is hyperandrogenism it is not mandatory that all the three symptoms will be present two of the three are also enough to be a diagnostic criteria in PCOS there are two types again obese polycystic ovaries and lean polycystic ovaries now obese polycystic ovaries at least exercise and uh, low glycemic food will correct the weight so a 10% correction in the weight will lead to a nearly 30% correction in the syndrome lean pcos it is very difficult to convince them that you need to exercise there is a myth that if lean people exercise they will lose weight further but they do not realize that if lean people exercise they will lead to an optimal weight plus hormonal correction again lean polycystic ovaries they are more resistant to treatment in the sense that the therapy does not work as well with them when we do ultrasound we find that the ovaries have a volume of more than 8 cc there are more than 9 follicles which are less than 9 mm in diameter which are placed peripherally in the ovary and the ovary has got a bright stroma also there are some blood tests which are carried out for the confirmation of PCOS one of them is a luteinizing hormone now this hormone is present in excessive amounts in the girls of PCOS when we find that these girls are more resistant to insulin action we call it as a insulin resistance and also we have to confirm that the patient does not have a thyroid problem because thyroid problems and also hyperprolactinemia can be responsible for these delayed and irregular menstrual cycles so this is how we come to a diagnosis of PCOS if you like the contents of this video please like share and subscribe to no medic